Yo! Welcome back to another video of Call of Cthulhu. Once again, it's me, your boy, 333 Benny. We at it. Another great video. <laughs> uh, should I say terrible? Sorry. Okay, uh, let's see. Last time we were left off at the Dark Water 4. Let's do this! I'm feeling very energetic, very happy today. I don't know why. Uh, first video is out. First episode of Cthulhu is out. Make sure you check it out, guys. Go over there. Comment some dumb shit. Yes. Shouldn't be spending like the first couple of minutes. But oh well. They for kids. <clears throat> anyway. Hopefully, this recording will go great as well. Once again... Expect nothing from me. <laughs> um, this is going to be probably another terrible video. You know, no edits, no, nothing, you know, bing bang, boom, bada bang, bing. So uh, it's just going to be me, my goofy voice, silly noises. And let's go! I, re uh, I, sh I apologize for the shot and everything, but uh, let's enter the madness. Okay. So we finished talking to my boy, Roy. Now, we're going to the warehouse, which, if I remember correctly, is down that way. Yeah, let's go. It's my two boys, my, three, my, my four boys. They're duplicating, multiplying. Hey, 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 what's going on here? Badly. Hey, Sullivan, can't you go any faster? Have you seen how old this thing is? It too much will break everything. Wait, 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 wait. Sorry, one minute, one minute. God. You can't do that. Perfect. But it's only a fish. The same goes for you, Yo, sir. Move good. along. Uh, you're thirsty, Don't treat me like another one of these locals. You're completely overwhelmed, and you could do with reinforcements. What are you thinking? That you can call the National Guard to an island like Darkwater? For a stranded fish? Gosh darn, Mr. Not like another one of these locals. Go give your valuable advice somewhere else, huh? Now, please, allow me to do my job. You can't understand. You're not sailors. It's a sun. You can see that I'm busy, can't you? You can't understand. Oh, Don't put no. that beast back in the water, you I shysters. You're crazy. Up, Cops, they can't understand. It is what it is. Damn stupid idiots. The blood is just beginning to coagulate. It died a short time ago. Killer whales have few predators. And there are no sharks in these waters. What creature could possibly have done this? Don't put that beast these wounds. I know of no animal that could have inflicted them. You can't Dude. understand. Boys, we found him. Cthulhu. There's something coming. <laughs> something real bad. <laughs> Alright. Don't put that beast uh, back in the water, you right, let's uh, look around real quick. I would like to explore a little before going to the uh, main objective. Hmm. Break it. We can actually lock pick! Damnation. Broke it. It's no use. The padlock won't give. Listen, listen. Piece of wood versus a lock. Nah, nah. The window, though. Yeah. Alright, what else we got? What else we got? What else we got? There's also something. Okay, no, there is a. Uh, there are boundaries. Yes. Hello there. Is this not something to, you know, investigate or talk about? No? Just gonna ignore it? Okay. Who? You're the detective, not me. Uh, Saint Burdon the Navigator. Oh! Saint Brendan. Patron saint of sailors and travelers. Desecrated. I can't even say which language it's written in. Probably Latin. I don't know. What languages could the music be? I got a lighter. Wait. Oh, yeah, 
I don't smoke. I forgot the character's name. Oh, not me, the character. I don't smoke. Smoking is bad, kids. No, no smoky. Very bad for you. You go cough, cough. Not good. Then you. Let's go. So it's this way, right? Nay, I say. You live here? Why did you do that, huh? We saw what you did to St. Brendan. Yeah, we'll teach you to come onto our island and ridicule our protectors. How can I be the one who defaced your saint? I've just come ashore, you idiots. That's true. We're as drunk as lords. You bet. You could have gone by without us seeing you. Do not rile me. You can hardly stand up. He's right. We're no match. For the moment. We're annoyed. <laughs> it's understandable. There's you, our beloved statue, and then those two bozos behind us. Wait. Now that I think about it, it's got to be them. There's one of them who's always going back and forth to the statue. Quieter. That's all we need for them to hear us. What brings you to dark water? That statue represents your local saint. What do you mean by local, exactly? You wouldn't be looking down at us, like all townspeople do. Saint Brendan. He protected whalers and fishermen like us. Until those assholes defaced him. Oh, that's good. Peculiar house. Yeah, that's where we live. Our boat. It's not because it doesn't float anymore that we're going to abandon it. Yeah, okay. Isn't it a bit early for alcohol? We got nothing better to do anyway. There's not much work around here. Fitzroy gives us a few chores every now and again, but since the whaling station shut down, ain't a lot of jobs left around here. So we drink. Ah, very good. The two guys behind you. What are they guarding? The bootleggers. Scum. They're protecting their territory. From whom, I wonder? They really don't have a choice anyway. They're more scared of cat than an attack by drunken sailors. If only they would kill each other. Is it Cat who's shaking down Captain Fitzroy? Oh, hold on, hold on just a minute. We didn't tell you a thing. Nothing at all. Mm, okay, then. I've taken enough of your time. We'll see you later. Well, you later, alligator. Don't tell me. No, if it gets out, I'll have serious problems with you. How could you be dumb enough to leave the entrance to the warehouses unguarded? Keep your voice down. Why not go and shout at the cat while you're at it? I don't want to end up with her little knife under my throat. It's a stiletto, you idiot. And with that smell on your breath, I don't give you much chance anyway. Interesting. Interesting. They not the guard. Who's this guy? No idea. You better keep it shut. <laughs> Why we don't have a clear conscience. Quiet. What's with you wandering around here like a hungry dog? We saw you talking to the two soaks. Go die of thirst, a lot of you. It'll stink less. I went to see the statue of St. Brendan. What makes you think we did it? We're bootleggers, not savages. Who do you think defaced the statue? What do I know? They could have done it by themselves. The sailors? Who else, in your opinion? And who's interested? So, who are you? Are you stupid, or are you doing it on purpose? <laughs> Everybody knows us on Darkwater. I've just arrived. Let's just say we're standing guard for the owner of the site. And we let no one enter her property. Cat. 
She's your boss. What? You listen through keyholes. She's the boss, yeah. She says who goes in or not. Shut up, you dummy. You wanted to know that you also talk too much. She must be quite intimidating if she can make two men like you tremble. <laughs> she redid the smile at the last one who wanted to get in. I hope you had a good dentist. No, no, you don't understand. She really cut him a new smile. But he only smiles with the left cheek. <laughs> I've got to enter the Hawkins warehouse. I guess it's gonna be complicated. No, it's very simple, in fact. Fuck off. I don't give a damn about your racket. I just want to get into this warehouse. And we don't give a damn about you. Whatever your reason for wanting inside, there's nothing we can do for you. Well then, gentlemen, it seems we've come to the last resort. Lying. Gentlemen, you have a problem. What? Who do you take yourself for, stranger? Your boss is very unhappy with your work. Oh yeah? You're bluffing. She said those knuckleheads are incapable of staying at their post. Darn it! You think he's telling the truth? We'll find out. Prove that you really know, Cat. <clears throat> it's risky to question my word. I wouldn't like you to get cut with a certain Italian knife. Okay, okay. You've convinced us. And is she who sent you? What do you want from us? I thought I made it clear. I have to take a look inside the Hawkins warehouse. Leave me alone, and I'll put in a good word for you with Cap. Uh, okay. It's a deal. Gentlemen. Thank you both. You have both been lied to, and now you're both dumb, and you probably have both be killed. That's my problem, not my concern. I am in, I am not going out. Now then. You uh -oh. What secrets lie here? Yeah. Is this warehouse 36? Wait, is the zoom on to jump right into stuff uh, I'd like to explore a little see what's what where what okay we're going that way yeah open let's see open the door open the open the open the door open the door door the opening Shoot. I'll have to find another way to get in. Captain, game to be heroic. I, if you guys wish to read it, there it is. Stop the video now. Go for it. Because uh, in the first video, I did way too much reading, and that took up a lot of the time of the gameplay. So this time, I want to go a little bit more into the gameplay, if anything. Okay. There you guys go. Shlada boong. Alright, yeah, this can read. So in this photo, a man whom looks like Fitzroy is posing on the bridge of a ship. He has a wooden leg. That's his father. Padre. Let's find another way. Say, do you know how to do parkour? You don't. Well, well. A little mouse has got lost on our turf. You're not only inquisitive, you're also stupid. Hello there. What gave you the crazy idea to come onto my turf? Don't 
Has the cat got your tongue? You've come for a fight. What I've got to say won't change a thing. You're a quick learner. I decide who comes in and who stays out. And anyone who doesn't respect my rules, I punish them. Hit a woman! You asked for it. Oh! Right in the noggin. Get this Joker out of here. He might have a little trouble walking on his own. What do you mean, Joker? I ain't laughing like a mad clown. Ugh. I'm getting careless. I didn't see that coming. Bro, you got if I want to get into this woman. warehouse, I'm gonna have to deal with her. Do it. Say less. Let me rip her up. Where do you think you're going? Uh, I thought that the Hawkins case had been closed. That's true. So what are you doing on guard duty in front of this warehouse? <laughs> Who's asking the questions here, the cop or the tourist? Who are these others so interested in the warehouse? And why would I tell you? You and I are on the same side of the law. Oh, yeah? You don't want to know the truth behind this case. Are you saying our work was not up to snuff? Forget it. Thank you for your valuable help. Okay, sir. Another break? Hey, Mitchell. A drink for our new friend. I owe you. You don't know how to fight, but at least you've got guts. Yeah. Aching guts. Huh. I've got them too. But you don't hear me whining like a pooch who's lost its leash. You didn't back down. It's something that I respect. So understand by that. If I catch you again, you'll carry a more permanent reminder of our encounter. Tell me, what brings you to Darkwater? I'm going to lie. I'm fascinated by the history of the whaling station. Ha! Huh. You certainly don't lack style. But enough of the jokes. You reek of private eye. Who did you come for? The Hawkins family. Now why doesn't that surprise me? A little advice, though. If you want to survive more than a day in this rat hole, Avoid talking about them to the first people you meet. I need to get into the Hawkins warehouse. You're out of luck. It's on my turf. It's precisely for that reason that I've come to see you. Are you pulling my leg? Think it over. I've seen what you're capable of. And you didn't miss me. I accept the compliment. Well... I see you're serious. Yes, to be honest, as long as it doesn't interfere with my business, I don't care. But I'll go with you, to make sure you don't stick your nose into things that don't concern you. Sounds honest to me. I'm not finished. If I do that for you, if I let you onto our turf to conduct your little affairs, you'll be indebted to me, and I guarantee that I always collect on what I'm owed. Think about it. I help you. You'll owe me a favor in return. Do you accept? Well, I didn't see no other way. I'm going to the warehouse, probably another way, but, um. Heck, the more in debt you are, the more rich you get. Isn't that right? Do I have a choice? Oh, we always have one, detective. Follow me. Nobody questions your authority here. I was given to believe that Fitzroy stood up to you. That dope tried to save face in front of his sailors. 
They revere their brave captain as they do their old statues. But sooner or later, all statues get buried in bird shit. And nobody cares. Probably is the like way down there, but... Yeah, let me go please down here. Curiosity has got the cat in the back. Uh, hola. You saw what happened with those sailors. Nee. Don't hang around here unless you want trouble with the bootleggers. Okay. It's a little late. I've already met Cap. Well, at least you're still here to talk about it. She must like you. Something like that. With that, please do excuse me, because I'd prefer not to be seen talking with you for too long. All right, just take care, bro. Peace. Oh. Oh. My detective instincts are in. It looks like there's a way in under this grate. Really? <laughs> a whale vertebra. If the newspaper clipping in the bar is true, this bone is a real fossil. Alright, well, the ladder it is. I could use this old winch to lift the grating. But it's been completely taken to bits. There must be some spare parts amid all this clutter. Okay. Wait, can we jump down? Wah. 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 I'm gonna bet the probably one of the people on the other side. Why don't I just use like a rusted pipe or something that I can just help you know, Round and around. Should be possible to mount this cogwheel on the winch. Alright, okay. I forgot I have to light things up in order to interact with them more better. Hey, 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 this is what I need. Take this off, man. What is this? Oh, and I will send you those rejected and help a lot. A ratchet device. Exactly what I need. This handle will be perfect for the winch. Boom. Detective 101. So, we're gonna put the cog wheel, the ratchet, then the handle, and out there. Looks right. like everything is in its place. All I have to do is turn this handle. Do it. Do it. Very inviting. Don't worry, bro. Don't need a gas, gas mask. <coughs> yeah, just as I thought. <coughs> oh my days. Are we getting high? Yeah, buddy. <coughs> Smoke. It's coming from this oil. I hope it's not toxic. <coughs> hey, listen, man. I think this is some sort of special smoke, if you catch my drift. I can swim. Why, why are you putting your light up? You don't know if this gas could be explosive gas or anything. Dude, the shit I see that is light to light. It's nothing. No, 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 So we know that too. That was a very 
This is primitive. How primitive are we talking? Oh no. I really didn't need to go. I actually want to go back because. No, I'm not going to take too long. Ugh, oh, this place stinks. I did not mean to. What is the connection between this place and the Sarah Hawkins case? Listen, man, I'm trying to talk here. <gasps> Yahoo! To enter the... What the hell? Yo! I've got abilities! What happened here? You got angry. Simple. So it seems I actually did not need that. Who has enough money to buy painkillers, but stays in a place like this? It smells as bad as it looks. Can't sleep. I know how that feels. Don't we all? What is this paper? La Petite Pal Parisienne. It's probably the French. Is this one of Sarah Hawkins' paintings? Oh, that's the Owl Man. Woohoo! Woohoo! Okay, we're back. Thank you guys for watching that's the game done no more quests to be done you know to be continued i uh, hope you guys enjoy see you in uh, next time bye <laughs> okay uh so actually i think i'm gonna leave this man because i've seen we're slowly constrained by the moment which is pretty pretty uh And the police? They do nothing to stop you? The local cops? The cops drink like... Oh, someone has settled in here. And whoever it is has something to tell me about the Hawkins case. Is there anyone in there? You! Don't move! The Hawkins case has been wound up. Let the dead rest in peace. Britain. No way. Wound up? You mean messed up? No. We don't take no lessons from the likes of you. We do our job carefully and fairly. No stone was left unturned. Really? Can you explain what this painting is doing here? This strange portrait. Wait. I know it. It was in the Hawkins mansion when we came to investigate the fire. So you confirm that it was removed from the crime scene. Interesting. I'd like to go and see the mansion now. Of course. You want to go back along his trail? <sighs> I'd like to understand how this painting made it to here. Come on. My car is parked down the way. Andrews, would you please shut the door? And open your eyes, damn it. This guy went right under your nose. God damn it. Her again. This case has nothing to do with you, Baker. 
Clear the passage or I'll shut you up for obstruction. Officer Bradley, you've finally grown a pair. Too bad you're too fat to see them down there. Oh, damn. Why you? Come on, keep the smile. You don't want to force me to widen it. Okay, I get it. Can we go to the mansion now? I thought I'd straightened you out, mister. I am disappointed. Ooh. But we'll meet again. Who's Bradley the cut? Is it far, this mansion? Look behind you, at the top of the ridge. You see the building? What the... That's the Hawkins mansion. Come on, we got some driving to do. That's some spooky spooky shit right there. Alright, uh, Pierce managed to get inside the warehouse. The place is thought to be abandoned, revealed some surprises. Signs of recent occupation as well as a partly charred painting interrupted in his searching by Officer Bradley. Pierce convinced him to join him in investigation. The police officer is willing to drive the detective to the Hawkins Mansion. Cool. Let's go. Yo, dog, look at the Adam family, please. <laughs> Well, here we are, Hawkins Mansion. The place has been abandoned since the fire. There's only old Winchester in his hut. Uh, I see no scorched trees or fire damage on the building. You're pretty damn observant, ain't you? The fire was quickly contained. Old Silas acted as soon as he could. Not soon enough to save the Hawkins. They were trapped in the drawing room. And don't go troubling Silas anymore. His guilt torments him enough as it is. Are we gonna take a closer look at this mansion, or do you have other questions? I have many, many more questions. <laughs> He's clearly not doing any gardening. You know, Silas Winchester has been working for the Hawkins family as far back as I can remember. Charles was like a son to him. The day of the fire, he lost his whole family. So he's got nowhere to go. And, as you'll see, in a way he's still watching over them. Is there anything else you want to ask me? Or do you want to go up there? You're the one who looked after the Hawkins case. Don't think I was trying to hide it. It's just that this discovery shakes my convictions. That's why you're so keen to find out who removed the painting from the mansion. Yes. If something escaped us, or if there's been a law enforcement error, then it's up to the police to make good its mistake. Anything else? I prefer to be prepared if there's going to be trouble. Yeah, we're going to wise like attitude. Still something but apart from old Silas and some rotten floorboards, like there's nothing to worry about. Could he be a problem? Strictly speaking, he ain't dangerous. But since the tragedy, he's been a little touched. Though he's a remarkably sturdy man, given his age. A true force of nature. A sad old man doesn't worry me. Gee. If you don't want to listen to my advice, we might as well go, right? Oh, yeah. Night falls quickly here, and I want to be able to see when we arrive. I'll go with you, if only to reassure Silas. Why not? You can help. Right. Let's go. Alrighty then. 
Uh, I think I'll leave it here for now. Reach the new point and then the uh, chapter. I'll see you guys. Uh, actually, wait, 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 wait. Before any of that. Remember, stay positive, think good things, be good, as always, love and peace, all of that, you know, and well, uh, yeah, I will see you guys in the next episode, <laughs> why, why is it so cringe, alright, yeah, peace out.